Hello, welcome to SmartRx. SmartRx is a leading provider of cloud and mobile solution for patient engagement, health monitoring and online consultation. We have basically built a solution which helps healthcare providers to connect with their patients and better take care of their health. Our platform is being used across India and abroad. We ha basically have uh, web based as well as mobile based solution. Basically there are three things like uh, a patient app and a patient portal, doctor app and a doctor portal and an admin portal. Uh, we majorly focus on care management, e-consult and e-commerce. Apart from this, there's a marketing module which is which a hospital can use it for the marketing stuff. So let me initially drive you through the admin portal. As you can see in the screen, this is the admin dashboard. So initially we'll create an admin account and give the login details to the admin. Basically admin in the sense hospital. So as a hospital, uh, what are the different things which you can do using this sh portal? As I'll show you one by one. So as you can see, there are different sections like patients, care plan, consultations, marketing, reports, and other things. Now, as I told you, we majorly focus on care management. Let me start the, with the care management part initially. So we do this basically using our care plan module. We have more than 150 care plan, including chronic and post-discharge care plans like diabetes, pneumonia, total knee replacement, etc. So these are the list of few care plans which is available. So let me go through one of the care plans. For example, mm, let's go through UTI, urine red tract infection. So these are the information which will be available in a care plan and this information will be pushed to a patient. Now how it works basically is the moment patient gets discharged from a hospital or a moment patient goes out after the consultation, hospital admin will register a patient and assign a particular care plan based on his condition. So patient can access entire information about his condition through his mobile app or a patient portal. What information in the sense like about the condition, what to expect, alarm signs, follow up, lifestyle, diet, nutrition, etc, etc. So we have also segregated the entire content into a messages which has been pushed to a patient on a regular basis. So these are the messages as you can see, this will be pushed to a patient on a regular basis. Where patient can just access those from his mobile app. Let me go through one more care plan. For example, uh, let's go through obesity. So again, the same way the patient can go through the entire content of the care plan from the app. The content will also have an image as well as video, you can see. So this is basically about the care plan. Uh, so also as an admin, you can create your own care plan you can you have an option of copying a care plan as you can see here as I told you you can create your own care plan there you can just enter the care plan name select the specialty and different text fields and create the care plan so this is all about care plan where uh, admin can create a care plan you can assign register a patient and assign a particular care plan to a patient so mm, now let me show you how to register a patient and assign a care plan. So as you can see here, add new patient. Let me try and register any new patient. For example, R Rohan, mobile number, any random mobile number. So select the gender, location as Bangalore. Select the doctor. So let me assign any care plan for example I want to assign angioplasty select it so let me select the service type whether it's a inpatient or outpatient and click on create so the moment you create a patient patient gets the login details using which a patient can l log into his patient tab or a patient portal so here you can see the manage patient page where you can see the entire list of patient which is being registered to this hospital 
you can also click on particular patient's profile and go inside his profile and go th go through his various activities there's also a way where you can push reports to a patient here as you can see here mm, lab reports if you want if a hospital wants to push any reports you can just click on upload just choose a file from a system you can just select the report type whether it's a radiology discharge summary whatever and just click on submit so this way you can push a report to a patient now let me go back to a manage patient page yeah uh, yeah correct uh, yeah this is the page now you can also uh, filter all the patients based on different requirements like location filter by gender age group anything so this is all about the patient thing mm, now let me show you the patient communication uh, patient communication using this feature uh, as an hospital or an admin what you can do is you can send a message to a single patient or a multiple patient for example I'm selecting here two or three patients you can just click on continue step 2 and now select the desired message which you want to send and click on the send you can also send a text message as well as email this is all about the patient communication now let me go through a create new patient group this is pretty interesting where a hospital or an admin can create a particular group of patient for example if I want to create a uh, diabetes group diabetes group so I can just select the group type select the different age it's basically based on the different uh, filters available and based on the different requirement you you can just create a particular group so as you can see manage patient group here I've already created few groups that these are the various group which has been created so as a admin here in the under the patient tab you can add a patient assign a care plan you can send a communication message to a patient you can put create a particular group of patients now mm, let me go through the other sections as I've already told you we also focus on e-consult and e-commerce so this here you can see view appointment view e-consult and view e view services and see what happens basically whenever a patient books any appointment or a book any services the hospital admin will get a notification the moment they see the notification they, they can just go to log into the portal and just can go through the list of patient who has booked an appointment so as an admin you can also change the various status of an appointment based on the doctor's availability you can make the status to confirmed or cancel with anything for example I want to make it as confirmed so it's showing confirmed so this is how it works Simi in the similar way you can just confirm the type of test which is being booked for example this patient has booked the blood test so you can just go here and the action under action button you just confirm the status as confirm or completed whatever so similarly it works with the e-consult where you can change the status again same way so this is uh, basically this is all about the uh, e-consult and services features where uh, the moment a patient books it admin gets a notification admins can just go to and uh, log into a admin portal and just confirm the services or appointment so mm, apart from this as I told you we do have a marketing module where you can do a targeted marketing see here you can create uh, any new campaign for example you are running a diabetes campaign or campaign or so you can just create a campaign write the any campaign name you can select the different text field post creating a care plan you can just assign this care, care plan to a particular group as I've told you we can create a group so those whatever the group you have created you have to you can assign a campaign to those particular groups so this cam this campaign basically this goes as a message to a patient so apart from this as an admin you can add different doctors you can add the schedule for example uh, here you can see the you have to add the different text field click on submit and add the doctor In the similar way you can just add their schedule select the there is location select doctor here you'll get you can just select the schedule add schedule you can select the 
schedule type whether it's a regular or a e-consult then you can just select the timings and add it so this is all about adding doctor and the adding the schedule so apart from this as an admin you can see the various reports like care reports like enrollment reports so let me go through this care report first so this is nothing but the number of messages which is being pushed to a patient you can keep a track of it which patient is getting what messages so entire thing will be listed here now let me go through enrollment report where you can see the number of patients re getting registered on a daily basis number of patient login via android or a portal or iphone everything so overall as an admin mm, you can track the entire thing there's also a way where you can do various changes in your settings for example you want to change the email id or mobile number anything you want to change add your services add the different about uh, you want to add something about your hospital so all those things is configurable so the overall this is what we have on the on our admin portal so hope this will help you <laughs> thank you very